Hi guys, today we will talk a bit about Motion AI. Because with that you can create all kind of motions with simple text prompts and sometimes this can be very useful, especially if you need some specific kind of motions which you can't do yourself and also can find on platforms like Mixamo or Ectacore. It's completely free but you have to join their Discord because you also create the motions on Discord directly. And yeah, it's quite simple. If you join the Discord, then you could either go to one of the creation tabs here, but keep in mind that everything you do here is public. So if you want to make your creations private, then you have to go to your direct messages, then start a conversation, and here search for motion and select the motion bot. And as you can see, I already created something and it's completely private. Here, for example, I type silly dancing and yeah, <laughs> this is what you get. And basically you get uh, two motions for every prompt you set. So M1 is the left motion and M2 the right motion. And you could also export the video if you want, but for us is the FBX file more important. So how can we create our motion? Um, first of all, you have to type r slash. And then you can choose this prompt here. And here you can describe your motion first. So for example, I can say character playing a piano and shaking his head. <laughs> um, here you can choose between different characters. For us it's not so important because uh, we only need the FBX file. Um, and then you can say if the character should stay in place or if it uh, should move in 3D space. So we want um, that the character moves in 3D space um, because of that we set it to false and then just press enter and this usually takes about one minute now it's finished and we can preview the animation and yeah it kind of works i would say and um, both seem to play a piano this one is standing and this one is sitting and um, but both are not uh, shaking their heads so yeah, it doesn't work always perfect and sometimes you have to describe it in another way that it works better. But yeah, it's a good start I would say. So we can try to describe it more precise. Um, we make another slash, motion and then we could say character playing a piano and moving his head up and down fast. Okay, then we choose our bot again and we say uh, false. Now, uh, okay, it gave us kind of the same animation here. Um, so yeah, it still has some limitations, especially if you have movements that aren't used too much. Um, yeah, but you get the idea and for now I will take the silly dance, I would say, because that yeah, <laughs> was quite fun. Um, so I will take the first one and then you can just export it here. Okay, then you get this folder, which you first have to extract. And then you have the FBX file. Back to Blender, you can click on File, Import, FBX, and then choose your animation. And first of all, make sure that the rotation of the root armature is the same as the rotation of the main armature. And then you can click on AutoRig Pro, you can also retarget it with the Rococo plugin, but in this course, um, I always use AutoRig Pro because it's the most precise, um, especially for our rig. And then we click on Remap. Um, 
we choose uh, this as the source armature, then the main rig as the target, and then click on auto scale, build bones list, and we have to set the hips as the root. And then you can click on retarget. Okay. And then um, we can hide the root armature and play the animation. And yeah, <laughs> I think this already looks quite good. Um, yeah, it's not perfect, but it's a pretty good start. Um, it would still need some fine-tuning and um, so you have some wobbling uh, at the foots mostly um, Yeah, but it's really not so bad. I would say it's quite a nice tool and it certainly can help in some situations to get some motions you can do um, so easy yourself. But yeah, mostly it needs some fine tuning I would say and also the wobbling on the foots isn't perfect. And the other thing is it's only for the main body so you can't animate the fingers or the face with it. But for what it is it's... Um, yeah, not so bad I would say and then I hope you liked the video and I'll see you next time.